piece of legislation that addresses the need to treat people with pain, my suggestion was let's just add a clause to the bill. It doesn't cost the state of Rhode Island one penny. Everything I've done for Rhode Island costs the taxpayers zero dollars. And I have this piece of legislation that the Colorado governor is going, he's going to be signing this into law and this basically says you can't investigate a doctor or arrest a doctor for doing their job. Let these doctors practice medicine without looking over their shoulder. And I have reached out to the health department. I have begged the health department, please help us, please do something. Dr. McDonald has done nothing. Dr. Scott did nothing. And I have been asking Neil for help. Help us, help us. The elderly Rhode Island community does not deserve to be punished for an opioid epidemic they did not create. I'm going to take it one step further because now I'm hearing from women at Women and Infants who are having their breast removed and they're being told, well, you shouldn't have pain. Here's some Tylenol. And in a perfect world, Tylenol would be the solution. But you can't do surgery like this on somebody and expect them to recover or have a good, have a good recovery. So for all of those reasons, we once again ask the Rhode Island Department of Health to please help us, let us find something that we can agree on so we can afford people who need access to opioids. The people I advocate for, they've exhausted all the alternatives, the steroid injections, right? and suboxones being forced down pain patients' throats. It, it's indicated to treat addiction. So uh, I think we can do this. I think we can do this together. Uh, and I thank you for it.